were you able to find it? Right now I'm doing the kidney. So we're doing um, renal and bladder. So that'd be the right and left kidneys. The bladder we're visualizing the ovaries, the right and left adnexa. I'm looking for any cysts, whether that's in the ovaries or renal cysts as well. Um, so a lot of structures in the abdominal area. So yeah, stay on the right side and then the left. Yes. So the uh, ultrasound course is available for second year students toward the end of their second year. This course is definitely something that's unique. Not There are some schools that have it, but not every uh, comm has it. Not every medical school has it. So this is definitely offering our students an edge that they wouldn't get at other schools. Okay, so the kid is just right there behind there, yeah. but it's just being obscured, right? Ultrasound is one of my passions. Um, it's kind of taken the place of the stethoscope and gives us a lot better information. Uh, so in the clinical world, it's actually better than x-ray um, in many cases. So I've really enjoyed our ultrasound courses that we got to take during the school year. However, we only had a handful of opportunities to actually get in here and be hands-on with it. And I feel like those few hours that we had throughout the semester, I gained a lot of insight and felt like this is something that could kind of give me an advantage going into clinical rotations where I could walk in and you know have the anatomy down, know where to place the ultrasound probe and just be able to visualize structures that we're learning so much about in an effective way. So I thought it was a great opportunity to just get more hands-on time before I go off into clinical rotations. So they do didactics before they come in and then we do about five hours, four hours of scanning, uh, five weeks in a row, and we go through all the main topics. So students can expect by the end of having, having at least 20 hours of hands-on ultrasound and about 55 hours of didactic. This is standard of care. So in the clinical world, if you, if you can't use ultrasound, that's, you're not pr practicing at standard of care. One more, right there. This is a good first step. And they'll get a certificate showing that they've done this didactic and also done the hands-on portion. Absolutely apply. I think all of us can say that this has been an incredible experience so far. You only get a handful of opportunities to really come in and have this equipment and have the professors here at your fingertips to answer any questions so that when you go out, you are more confident in your skills in the clinical setting. So I'd highly encourage it. It's a few hours a week during board prep time and yeah, I'd say go for it. It, it can only help you.